Hello and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka and let us discuss the question. It says find the perimeters of first of all triangle ABE and then the rectangle BCDE in this figure whose perimeter is greater. Now this is the figure which is given to us in this question. Now before proceeding on with the solution we should be well versed that we can find out the perimeter of a triangle let's say this is a triangle of length A, B and C respectively so we can find out the perimeter of triangle having length A, B, C by adding the lengths of all the sides and we can find out the perimeter of a rectangle by the formula that is 2 length plus breadth where L is the length and B is the breadth and the knowledge of these two formulas is the key idea for this question. Now let's proceed with the solution keeping the key idea in our mind. Now first of all we need to find out the perimeter of triangle ABE. We have the sides of triangle ABE as 5 by 2, 2, 3 by 4 and 3, 3 by 5. So we have the perimeter of triangle ABE as 5 by 2 plus 2, 3 by 4 plus 3, 3 by 5 and the answer will be in centimeter. Now let's solve the bracket. We have 5 by 2 plus this can be written as 11 by 4 plus we have 18 by Five. Now to add these unlike fractions we need to first take the LCM. So the LCM of 2, 4 and 5 is 20. So we have 5 by 2 multiply by 10 the numerator and the denominator and in the numerator we have 50 plus it will get multiplied by 5 so we have plus 55 plus we have 18 into 4 that is 72 now we have the sum as 177 upon 20 centimeter which can be written as 26 17 centimeter right so sorry it will be 8 over here so we have the perimeter of triangle ABE as 177 by 20 centimeter or 817 by 20 centimeter this completes the first part now let's proceed on with the second part. In the second part we need to find out the perimeter of the rectangle that is P, C, D, E. Now we have the length of this rectangle as CD which is equal to BE that is 2, 3 by 4 centimeter and we have the breadth that is B as 7 by 6 centimeter. So what we need to do is we need to apply the formula that we learned in our key idea 
that is perimeter of a rectangle is 2 bracket length plus breadth. So we have 2 bracket 2 3 by 4 plus 7 by 6. That is equal to 2. Now here we have 8, sorry, 11 by 4 plus 7 by 6. We have converted this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Now we need to add these two unlike fractions by taking their LCM. Their LCM is 12. So we know that 4 into 3 is 12. So we will multiply the numerator that is 11 also by 3 to get 33 plus 6 into 2 is 12. So 7 into 2 is 14. So we have 2 into 33 plus 14 gives us 47 upon 12. Now I'm simplifying. We have 47 by 6 centimeter as our perimeter for the rectangle, which can also be written as, over here we can have 6. We know that 7 into 6 is 42, so here we are left with 5. Now, thirdly, we need to answer whose perimeter is greater. We have the perimeter of the triangle as 8, 17 by 20 and we have the perimeter of the rectangle as 7, 5 by 6. So we need to compare. So let's name it as or let's compare. Eight seventeen by twenty to seven five by six. Let's convert it into improper fraction. We have it as one seventy seven by twenty, and here we have it as forty seven by six. Now Now, for comparing, we need to convert these unlike fractions into like fractions. For that, we need to take the LCM of 20 and 6, that is 60. So, now we need to compare, sorry, convert these two fractions into an equivalent fraction having the denominator as 60. So, that means 20 into 3 we know is 60. So, 177 into 3 is 531 and 6 sorry here we had 60 so 6 into 10 gives us 60 so we have 47 into 10 as 470 so clearly we can see that 531 upon 60 is greater than 470 upon 60 or we can write that 817 by 20 is greater than 75 by 6. And in words, we can say that, therefore, perimeter of triangle ABE is greater. Right. So this completes the session. Hope you understood it well and enjoyed it too. Have a nice day.